How's it going guys, Sir Teapot here, and today we are doing some more Stugu, which is Sir Teapot's gaming update, and this week is the week of April the 15th, and we're going to be covering all the game releases, all the upcoming games for next week, and all the little bits that I put in in between, and this week we're going to be starting off the game releases, and we are starting off on the 16th, which is tomorrow, and we have got Anno 1800, which is coming out for the PC, we have got Dreams Early Access, um, which is coming out for the PS4, we've got Eternity the Last Unicorn coming out for Xbox One, uh, we've got Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remasters coming out for the Xbox One and Switch. And we've got Ghost Giant for the PS... Uh, VR, that is, actually, for the, on the 16th. And My Time in Porter for the PS4, Xbox One and Switch. That is also coming out on the 16th. Um, we've got Warhammer Age of Sigmar uh, Champions. That's coming out for the Switch on the 16th. And we've got World War Z also coming out for PC, PS4 and um, PS uh, Xbox One, sorry. That's also coming out on the 16th. And moving on to the 17th, which is going to be this Wednesday, we have got another PlayStation VR game coming out, which is going to be the Immortal Legacy, the Jade Cypher. And then on the 18th, we've got God's Trigger for the PC, Xbox One, and the, um, and PS4. Sorry, I nearly said Switch then. Uh, we've got Katana Zero coming out for the PC and Switch, also on the 18th. And Our World is Ended for the PS4 and Switch coming out on the 18th. And we've got Overcooked 2 Campfire Cook Off DLC coming out for the PS4, uh, PC, Xbox One and the Switch also coming out on the 18th. And then we've got The Padre coming out for the PS4, Xbox One Switch and the Switch on the 18th. And then we're going moving on to the upcoming game to play, which is going to be the new World War Z game that is coming out, which is obviously loosely based off the film and the book that they've made. Um, it looks absolutely insane. The amount of zombies that is on screen looks awesome absolutely incredible i cannot wait to play it myself uh, i'm definitely going to be picking up at launch so if any of you guys want to actually see me play that let me know down below because i will be definitely check that out in the near future moving on for that we've got the game pass game to play which is going to be a new um, game pass game that came out this week it's going to be prey and prey is a hell of a lot of fun i've been playing it myself a little bit i also recorded a video on it this week so in the above my head about here-ish um there will be a thing that says Go watch some Prey, and you can go watch some Prey if you'd like to, because I did record an episode this week, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. And then, moving on from that, we've got the Achievement to Achieve, which is going to be in a game that is coming out on the 16th of this week, which is obviously tomorrow, and that's going to be My Time in Porter. No, My Time at Porter, sorry, I do apologise. And that's a 15 gamer score achievement called Unintended Mistake, which is to give out a gift that the other person doesn't like. So basically being an absolute dick to someone, basically, you get a gamer score for being a dick to someone. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm all right with that. And moving on from that, we've got all the biggest news stories from last week that you may have missed. And starting off, we have got a Sims 4 uh, update coming out, which is free, which is a rarity for EA these days. So give give something out for free. Um, and it's going to bring out the freelancer career and new outfits to the game, which is very nice for EA to actually give us something new for once uh, and something for free. It is only for PC at the moment. It is going to come into consoles in the near future, though, as well, as they have said in a statement. Um, moving on from that, we have got Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is obviously the Nintendo Switch game. Um, is apparently uh, There's an advert that hints at a stage builder being put into Smash Bros, which would be a very interesting aspect to Smash Bros, because obviously, like... It's always been the same kind of maps and everything, but obviously there's a lot of creative minds that like to try and make their own maps nowadays. And with Mario Maker and stuff like that, um, it could really work really well. Like I could, I could imagine some amazing let's plays that people could make on that as well. I imagine it'd be a lot of fun. And moving on from that, we have got PS4 has well PSN have now made it so you can have now change your name on PSN, which is rather nice because um, I'm for the whole time I've ever known people have a PlayStation, you've never been able to change your name on it. But you can now finally change it, and it is going to cost $10, which is around £7.50, I believe it is, on um, the in UK and stuff like that. I'm not I'm not sure how much it is everywhere else. You'll have to look yourself. But it is nice to be able to finally change your name on PlayStation and stuff like that. And now we've got the Xbox Game Pass is has added new is adding new games in the near future. As I've already said, they have added Prey. They have also added a new game called Golf Club or something like that. So if any of you guys are into golf games, you might be able to play pick up a new golf game for yourself to play. And we've also got um, the new Monster Hunter World that recently came out about a year ago or something like that. It's also coming to Game Pass, so I'm definitely going to check in that out when that comes out. And we've got Resident Evil 5 also coming to Game Pass as well in the near future, I believe. That comes out on like the 18th of this month or something like that. 
So not too long until Resident Evil 5 comes to it either. So I will be checking that out as well. And then we've got uh, Yaku, Yaku Kawame 2 coming to PC in May. I'm not exactly sure what this game is. Um, I've seen a lot of people writing and raving about it. Though it looks apparently it's a, um, a very popular Japanese game that's very got like a massive cult following in this country and stuff like that. So if any of you guys actually know what that game is, you'll obviously understand what I just said. I may have just butchered the name completely though. But if anyone that is actually interested, that is coming out to PC in May. And moving on from that, we've got Infinity Ward and Respawn co-founder Jason West has joined Epic Games, which are the creators of likes of Fortnite and Gears of War and stuff like that. Um, so we, sh we that's a big surprise to see someone of that magnitude go to a company like Epic Games, especially now Epic have now opened their own store on PC and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting to see what he brings to the table for Epic Games and hopefully he can maybe do something with a Gears of War franchise and make it relevant like it used to be. And moving on from that, we have got a new trailer. Uh, well, no, this is the last piece of news, actually, for this week. We've got a new trailer for the new Star Wars game that is coming out, and we got that yesterday, I believe it was, and it's called Jedi The Fallen Order, and it's coming, coming from the team... Um, well, it's still coming from EA, but it is coming from a team called Respawn, which are the people behind Apex Legends. So this should be very interesting for a lot of you people that like uh, Star Wars and stuff like that, because it is going to be a single-player-only game, and no, just story mode with no multiplayer and no microtransactions. So it's just going to be like a straight up story driven Star Wars game. And it looks absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen the trailer, honestly, go check it out. I cannot wait for this game to come out. I'm going to be playing it myself. It looks absolutely awesome. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for daily content and share it with your friends. It helps a lot more than you think. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And peace. peace.